Hello, I'm Mike Rich, and I'm here with uh, Pinell County Precinct 8 Judge Candidate Frank Gagliardi to talk about his candidacy. Uh, Frank, why don't you uh, tell the people who you are and uh, why you're running for judge? Okay, uh, my name is Frank Gagliardi, running for the Justice of the Peace in the Maricopa Stanfield area. And uh, to get a full background information of why I'm running for judge, you can uh, go to my website, friendlyfrank2010.com. So, uh, Frank, what sets you apart from your opponent, Judge Sully? I'm a people person. Uh, you can ask anyone that knows me. Um, fair minded and uh, respectful, and I'm willing to listen as well. Okay. And when did you decide to, to run for judge? I've always been passionate about justice, and I decided to run after uh, my bad experience with a uh, judge in Superior Court that wasn't following any of the rules or procedure, and I found that to be unfair, so I decided to get a little bit more involved. And what are, what are your specific qualifications? Uh, basically, with the uh, law, um, any person that's a voter in the area can actually uh, run for Justice of the Peace. Of course, I have college background. I've been involved in mock trials when I was younger. Do you think it's important to have any kind of legal background to be a judge? Having le legal background is important, but what's more important is have heart to be nice to the citizens, to listen to the citizens, to respect the citizens, that goes, uh, that go, that's very important to me. And uh, I have some legal experience being a businessman for about 15 years. I've seen uh, both sides of the uh, fence, if you will, been around the block, so I understand uh, what that means. And I think using common sense and making a fair judgment, I think a good person with a good heart can definitely uh, be the justice of the peace. Okay. And you're a, you're a Maricopa businessman too, you run, own a couple businesses locally? Yes, I do. What are the businesses you, you own and operate out here? Uh, it's Maricopa Heating and Cooling and Maricopa Discount Auto Repair. I know your business has had, you know, both your businesses, have, I think one has had an ROC complaint and both have had a couple BBB complaints. Can you just kind of talk to the people why that is relevant or not relevant? Um, it's uh, normal for any business to uh, have dealings like this when you're dealing with the public. Uh, being in business for uh, 15 years, uh, sometimes you provide services that people don't pay. So uh, considering the fact that I've been in Maricopa running my businesses for such a long time, it does happen that people do complain once in a while. But we take it very serious uh, doing good work and good service. And the people who receive that good service that do pay fairly, I appreciate that. And you recently have had some issues with child support, it's been in the news. Can you kind of tell the public what's going on with the child support? Yeah, basically I got stuck with a Judge Oldham that wasn't following the laws or procedures, uh, specifically uh, several uh, of the laws and procedures. One of them is the uh, Arizona Supreme Court guidelines for child support that makes uh, paying child support fair and consistent and not all over the place. And they, ha they adopted that in December of 2004 to be fair for both parents and um, my judge wasn't following that. So uh, so the judge is asking you to, to pay more than your fair share in child support? Yes, almost half of my income. What are you doing to address the child support issue? Uh, what I'm doing to address the uh, the child support issue is that my attorney filed a affidavit of uh, bias and prejudice against Judge Oldham so we can get a new judge that would be fair, that would follow the laws and procedures. It's basically like following your taxes. There's laws and there's a form you fill out, so we're hoping to get a fair judge. All right, now, are you currently making child support payments or are you waiting to, to get that proper amount set before you resume payments? I've been paying child support payments and uh, on a somewhat consistent basis. Uh, there's been a while there where I was in an accident, I wasn't able, and I wasn't generating income because I was hospitalized, so I wasn't able to pay it in that time frame. But I do pay child support. Uh, I pay the most I can that I can afford. So, and then you also have some kind of issue, you know, going on with the dogs. We've heard about Pinal County Animal Control. Can you kind of give the listeners and viewers some? background to what's going on there? Yeah, it seems like after the primary, um, Pinell uh, Animal Control came out to my property. I've had the dogs for many years, uh, one of them uh, four years, and it just seems all of a sudden uh, there's issues. But my pets are very uh, gentle, docile, my kids love them, I, I love my animals, 
and uh, started to hear about what happened. I, I've never known my animals to be mean or vicious at all. So you've had no issues in the past with your animals being nope. vicious or anything of that nature? No, not at all. Anything else you want to add, Frank? Anything else you want to tell the people? Well, bottom line is, is I uh, feel uh, compelled to uh, be involved. I think there's uh, not enough good people that are involved in politics, and I like to uh, be the justice of the peace, to be fair, to listen to the uh, issues at hand while in the courtroom, and I think having a good heart and being mindful of peop people as citizens of Maricopa is a very important issue and a stance I hold, and I look forward to receiving your vote and your support. Thank you very much.